Hey YouTube, how you doing? My name's Charlotte and welcome to my studio. I've got slightly different setup today than usual because I have my microphone right here as I record as I'm just going to be sat here talking about a subject I am quite passionate about and that is getting artwork out in the world. So a couple of years ago I didn't really submit my work anywhere. If I did, it was very small, very local. I wouldn't really tell anyone about it. However, this year, already in towards the end of June, July, um, I have already had my work displayed across the country um, as well as received awards for this work. So today I thought I'd take you through submitting to open calls, what kind of open calls can look like, um, as well as open calls for other creatives, uh, as I know there's not just painting ones out there. It's super warm in the studio today, so I've just stuck my hair up to keep me a little bit cooler. But as I said, open calls. So these can come from a range of sources. You might have uh, galleries emailing you. Uh, you might find these on Instagram, Facebook, um, or you might follow a artist who said, look, I've submitted my work into this. Open calls can come from all sorts of places. The main place I get the open call submissions from are Instagram. I'm not gonna lie to you. I follow a lot of galleries on Instagram who say, hey, we're having an open call, come and submit to this. But what are open calls? It's great, yeah, you can submit to them, but open calls are where galleries or individuals or groups of artists go, hey, we want other people to submit to the show that we're gonna run and we're gonna open it up to anyone and everyone. So some open calls can sort of relate to a certain subject, a certain medium, for example, example photography, um, but otherwise, a lot of them just read the T's and C's to make sure that your size is correct um, and that you're not submitting anything that they won't allow. However, open calls are that. They are a, a call out to artists, to creatives um, for generally any artwork. So as I said, I get a lot of the open call details from Instagram um, and I follow quite a few galleries that I know do open calls as well as their special pages uh, that have all the open call information for several galleries. And these open calls, don't forget, in the modern age can be online or in person, all right? So not every call, open call that you can submit to, you have to go and drop off your artwork. The only thing I will say is just be careful submitting to several at the same time. This year I've had to be quite careful with some of my larger pieces as I've submitted them into one show and I wouldn't have got the submission confirmation back or the acceptance back before the deadline for another show. So definitely weigh up the ones that you want to do or have a look the year before at what kind of stuff was entered and what kind of stuff got through. You've got really big galleries such as the Royal Academy uh, with the RA Summer ex Exhibition which is notoriously difficult to get into. So I've personally started small. I've started in the Swindon and Wiltshire area. I've displayed work in Marlborough for several years in a row. And now this year I have expanded out. So if you've been following me along for a little while, I've had work in Telford, which is near Birmingham, as well as the Royal Birmingham Society of Arts this year. And I've got uh, pieces going off um, to Newbury and down south uh, following on in the next few months. So it's definitely something that you need to be careful of if they are in person, is where they are. Take into account your travel or whether you can drop it off, 
whether someone else needs to drop it off and or pick it up um, or whether you need to do this by courier. And a lot of places will say in their terms and conditions what you can do if you can drop off on multiple days um, or if you can't pick it up on the pickup day and um, the other alternatives that you can do. So a lot of galleries um, will turn around and give you this information via email so you have it but don't hesitate to contact that gallery if you feel like you haven't received that information on time um, and don't forget they're dealing with sometimes hundreds of artists so you, if you don't get that information maybe like a few days before then give them a nudge don't ask them a couple of months before because they have so much going on so much in planning and um, that they they do need time okay so with the open course submissions themselves there can be paid and free for me some of the best decisions I've made have been free ones but also I have paid to get into galleries this year and in previous years. I would say put a limit on the amount you're going to spend for submissions. It's helped me so much because otherwise you could be spending hundreds on putting your work in, trying to get your artwork out there, but you're not actually earning anything from any of your sales. And it means that your cost and your profit um, can stay in a really good place really. So if cost isn't something that you're massively worried about, absolutely go for it. Again, just make sure that you're not doubling up those artworks in those submissions. However, if you want to create sales from your work, put in those pieces that really represent your yourself, your style, your work, um, and really make sure that they represent you. Because if someone likes that style, they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to follow that artist. I'm going to see what other stuff they do. Um, and from there, it's getting in front of someone and making that connection with them. Because that's, that's all it is with sales. I say all it is. There's a lot more to it. But making that connection is definitely important. So to recap, our open calls are a gallery, artist, individual, a collective saying, hey, come and submit your work to our exhibition. Some of these can be in big galleries. Some of these can be in small galleries. You find out about them in so many different places from Instagram, social media to email, even just having a Google. And of course, these you can pay to submit to or these can be free. As well as that, don't forget your travel and your expense to get there with your artwork. But just on the side, I think they've there's such a fantastic way to get yourself out there. Myself, I believe that if I haven't been in so many shows this year, um, I think I've been in six so far and we're at the end of July, beginning of August, uh, then I don't think I would have progressed in saying, actually, no, I'm gonna go for that opportunity um, and looking at other sort of opportunities for my style, for my artwork. It really makes you grow confidence in yourself going, I'm gonna submit that piece to this gallery and really sort of boosting that confidence as well when they do get submitted. Obviously not all of them do go through. I've had at least four galleries say no to me this year um, and I've had, I think, three say yes. I'm waiting on one more quite big one at the moment and one local one as well. Um, and again, one paid, one free. So there is al always that chance that you're not going to get in. However, the, the places that I haven't got in have been quite 
tough chances. They've been several hundred artworks for only 60 spaces. And I do not envy those people who have to choose which artworks get through to the next stage. However, it's always really interesting to see the social media of the galleries to see how they make that process work. And um, for example, one of the ones I'm waiting for is the RWA in Bristol. Um, and they've had on their stories and on their posts the kind of process that they go through. And it's literally a snap decision from a collective of artists um, who have, have done this show before. And it's it's fantastic to see. So there's so many elements to open calls. If you have questions specifically about them, how I personally got into an open call or the artwork that I submitted, just drop a comment below and we can have a chat, all right? Because it's a scary world, but you've got this. It's one of the best decisions I've made and I honestly wouldn't go back. I will continue to submit to open calls every year as an artist with new pieces as well as old and also read the terms and conditions for everyone's sake <laughs> read the t's and c's at least twice trust me i've caught a couple of things um, after reading that second time going oh i can't submit that piece of work because of the way they want to hang it so always 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 check the terms and conditions when you find that open call to know if it's something that you want to submit to and honestly go for it believe in yourself and get your artwork out in the world as i said if you've got any questions drop a comment below and i will see you soon <laughs>